there was a cure, would you take it? That's easy to answer. No. Why? Why not? Because I like my life in the gym. My life isn't that different than my else's. I get up like everybody else. I go to work like everybody else. I have, I have my daily activities like everybody else. I'm a parent, like most non like like people. Um, I deck my kids. Um, I have a great network system. Um, there are many people that I can go to. Um, people that I can, if I'm feeling some type of way, I have support systems. And it's not just because I'm HB positive, it's because I'm a human being. And it's, it's important to know that we are human beings. Just because we have a just because we have a, have a virus. HIV. What's that? It's just three letters of the alphabet to me. Okay. That's all it is. Right. So my social worker or my care provider told me, asked me, did I know about I know Jocks? I don't know nothing about Jocks. The only place I knew that treated people with HIV or AIDS was fine was Evelyn George. So I said, no, nah, I don't know what you got to see. He said, I'm going to set your apartment. I came down here. And the receptionist, you know, she said, she greeted us, greeted me with warmth, kindness. It wasn't no stigma. It wasn't no rejection. You could feel the love once you walked in the door. Meet some of the doctors that work here. Sit down and have a conversation with them. I mean, they always got time for you. I mean, even Dr. Not your doctor, Aikman Hallway, excuse me, Jeff or Derek, can I talk to you? Sure, they always got time for you. It's not, you know, you're not my patient, I'm busy, I don't know. They find time to talk to you. Even if it's about dumb stuff, other than medicine, other than jobs. You, you, you might be a little down and you need a word of encouragement. The, Jeff is one of the most religious people I've ever met, <laughs> along with Derek. Jeff, Jeff is my doctor. He always gave me, right before our visit, he would give me a Bible verse. And I would look at him like, but it would make sense. It would make, because it made me think. He does more than HIV treatment. He does life treatment. And you need that. Because you need a sense of humanity. You need to feel human. And when you got people poking and prodding you and sticking you, and you're just a number, there's no humanity in that. Here, you're a person. You're an individual. You're someone they care about. But like I said, it's just like cheese. Everybody knows your name. Most importantly, I want to sit there and talk to you first. I want to know what's going on through your mind. I want to know what it is that you need. What can I do to help you? You got to tell me everything that you need. I'm going to pick until I find out what the point is. And if you're not ready to give in to me then, it's going to be, it's going to be some time where you, if you need to open up, I'm right there for you. Uh -huh. I like to encourage people to stay here and get what's coming to them because there's a lot of goodness in this country. There's a lot of people here. We are family here. I mean, I want to I wanna be there for you whenever you need you. If you need food, if you need a few dollars, if I got whatever I got, I'm willing to share. I'm willing to help you with it. But you got to let me help you. Help you. I can't, I can't make, I can't force myself to help you if you don't let me in. I gotta know what's going on in your mind because a lot of people come in here, they're going through some bad things and they actually need somebody to listen to. If it's if it's a lending ear lending an ear, I wanna be the person that can hear it. I wanna if you need a hug, I'm willing to hug you. <laughs> All the things that I'm sharing with you is stuff I got when I came here. I'm I'm working to help save somebody else's but life work. and to keep them in, into this. To me, that's not work. To me, that's something natural because I want people to live long. I want them to take the medication while it's here freely. I'm living better than I ever lived in my life. I'm getting joy. I'm finding happiness. I'm meeting a lot of new people. I'm, I'm finding people. I've come to find out I'm not the only person that's affected. I laid on a hospital bed. The last thing I remember was two doctors up there. And uh, one of them said, why are you going to treat them? They're going to die anyway. So I was saying, I'm going to treat them anyway. The doctor that treated me took me back to the other doctor that said I was going to die. He said, do you remember him? He was like, no. 
He had a, 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 a mercy bar. Oh, he said, oh, I, have, I have a bear, yeah. Yeah, he said, oh, he said, we're going to have a bear. I always use the term that you know I have a house of prayer, and I love my house of prayer. 